This week, we stripped the white and black Adam ready for its rebuild. Dad has a go at some vinyl signs. I sleep in and make us late for Mildenall. And we finally get the red and black Adam back in the garage. My name's Tebs and this is Tebs Weekly, episode number 28. Obviously, I do want to do that, but I think we're not giving ourselves the best chance for all the shot British. Well, we've got a lot of work to do for that, haven't we? Unless you're going to use the white one. Um, yeah, so we could stop. We could. What's left to do on this? Just this sign writing? Or that's realistically two, two, we've got. two, three evenings. Realistically. Right, me and Dad are trying to come up with a plan. I just said to him, if we concentrate on this Corsa, um, there's definitely two more days left in this Corsa, if we wanted to. It's ready to race now, and it is only milled and all. But there's a few bits to do, as in pump that back corner out, plate this side, plate the other side. The side iron needs replacing in a bit of it, just to keep it, just to get it back to, you know, top top form really. But then I'm saying to him, if we do that, we're taking two or three days away from prepping the championship car, the championship racing car, which would be either the red Adam or the white one. So it's, hmm. But if we just don't go with the plan of taking the Radom and we actually just take the Wadham, which is not, nothing wrong with it really, apart from obviously the engine starting to move slightly with that chassis rail slightly moving, which will eventually go if you have another couple it's, of big ones. It's getting a revamp though, isn't it? Yeah, it is. But the idea so was to get that, the idea was to get the red one ready because that's fresh. Should we just put it out the garage and have a look? Yeah, kind of, yeah, we'll do that. We're just gonna have a look at the white, the Wadham. We're gonna take it out of the garage, the other garage we got, and just see what sort of condition it's in. I had a couple of big ones um, in the final at Tullyrone over in Ireland, when, that was when we last raced it. So, what state it's in, I can't actually remember. My neck was sore after that, so I can imagine the car's not in the best of states. <laughs> Let's have a look. So, we have come up with a plan. We're gonna spend the time on this Corsa, doing as much to it as we can, prep work-wise. It is race ready now, as we say, but there's still a lot more that we can do to it to make it back to, to get it back to 100%. So we're gonna do that. Obviously we've got Mildenau at the end of this week, and then we've got a whole week. I say a whole week, it goes very, very, very quick. Uh, and then we've got a week after to then prepare for the British at all the shot. Right, first job is this back right bit of the boot is all folded in. So I'm gonna get the port power out and try and push that out and then maybe put a couple of tap welds or maybe do a couple of tabs to try and keep that out and keep it strong.
That is Monday, done and dusted. For a Monday that weren't a bad shift. Come up with a plan, which is the main thing. Get a plan sorted for the week. Um, bit of panel work, all done. As I say, there's a few more bits to do to get it to where we're happy, really. And I'm glad that we're spending the time on getting these little things right, making the car look a little bit smarter as well with the new roof and a bit of a paint job. So, yeah, I think we're making the right decision with the cars. I think we're going to give the Wadden one more chance. <laughs> one, one more chance to get a title for us. She's had a few chances, but we give her one more. Hopefully it pays off. That is Monday, done and dusted. So we're now moving on to Tuesday, and Tuesday for me at the minute is a evening full of editing. So Dad's out in the garage and he's got his artistic head on again. Wednesday, this car is not far off being done. Done all the bodywork Monday, but one job that I'm toying with at the minute, and that is this bar, this bottom side iron. It's been, it's taken a big hit, and obviously at the minute it looks very weak. I think if I was to have another hit in that, that particular part there, then it will start pushing in the inside side iron. For anyone who doesn't know, too much about the 1300s. They have two bars that run all the way each side of the car, two bars that run at the top there and two bars that run at the bottom. So obviously this, the one on this side, his main job is to protect the driver. So if I just repair that outside now for the minute, I mean, at some point you would change obviously all these outside side irons and hopefully leave the inside, but it's not always the case. But yeah, if I repair this, patch it up now, hopefully it will keep the strength. I mean, without cutting it all off, and it is a pain in the ass to cut off. Um, I'm thinking about just putting a bit of angle iron over there, cut the bits that are sticking up, the rough bits, get the strength back in it really. Um, there's two bits there. And dad has sign written the numbers now, so I don't really want to go and ruin them. But I think it's a job that we should do while the car is in here. It's one of the jobs it doesn't have to be done, but it should really be done. Considering the last two weeks I haven't been able to say it, Tempest Weekly is out tonight, it's half six. And I've only just got away, so let's crack on. The only problem is that car's over at the farm. Yeah, well, I'll go and get it. Someday. What day are we on? Right, we're not racing that this week. Keep going out, out my head. Empty yeah, these two, two could both go in there. That could happen tonight. Yeah. You can... That can be pulled out and we put both of them two in there. What if I... This, like, with this drive, 
Don't this drive. Oh, it didn't. It didn't want to start. Oh. Have I nicked the battery? Have we charged it up or something? I don't think so. I think the start was wrecked as well. Putting this in the, that garage, or are you going to put it in the other one? Yeah, well. Right. Cool. Right, you probably just see about two or five seconds of that, but me and Dad's just talking for about five minutes, coming up with a plan, and we've changed the plan again. I changed, I just, we just watched a little bit of last week's, and we said something completely different to what I said on Monday, and now we've changed it again. Have we gone back? And we've gone back to last week's. We're going to take the Radom again. Yeah. Basically, the white one, the Wadham, is going into the MWA show and she's looking a bit sorry for herself. So we want to get freshened up and we want to get freshened up for that, basically, before it gets too far gone. So we was just going to take it out for one more meeting, but we changed our mind now. We're not. We're going to take the Wadham again because I think we're going to get the Wadham revamped by someone else because it's we've got three other cars here to be getting on with and the opportunity is there for someone else to do it. Somebody who we trust to do a good job. So, but they need the car. Yeah, and they need the car. So, but the engine in the red and black one is a bit sick. So we're going to take an engine out of the white one, pull it in the red one, and then while the engine's out in this white one, we're going to load it up and get it ready to be taken out of our hair and let someone else deal with it. So that's the plan. Now this car is ready, the Corsa. So now we've got to do a bit of musical cars and swap them around and get the Wadham in here. I hope you've understood that. I probably confused myself a little bit there. But that's the plan. It still may change. Yeah. Right, that'll do us for tonight. Time's quarter past nine. We've just sat there for the last 45 minutes just watching the Tebs Weekly because Papa hadn't actually watched it yet no. this whole time. I've been editing it. He hasn't had a chance to watch it. So I've just sat down there and watched it with him. Uh, we have now got the white Adam back in the garage, back to plan A. She is battered, to be honest. I mean, yeah, she's pretty bad. Yeah. So plan now, get this engine out and we are going to get it taken away. Not so, the engine, the car. Yeah, not the engine. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, we're going to get taken away. We're going to send it up to Sid Madrick at SMR Fabrications. And he's going to do his magic and get it show ready. And then we'll get it back and put all our touches on it. It's going to have to come out looking mint. As you say, Dave Rennie at the MWA show has given us a chance to put our car on the show. And we're going to take it with both reins, if that's the right metaphor. Um, and we're going to pull it, get it looking as best we can for it. So cheers to uh, Dave Rennie. MWA show is in February. I'll put the date up now. So I hope to see everyone there. We will be there in full force. We will. Um, the plan at the minute is to have a car on the show and to have a couple of cars doing exhibition races there as well. So I think this year is going to be absolutely unreal there. What Dave's putting into it and some of the plans he's told me it's going to be a good show. So I hope to see everyone there. I know it's a long time away at the minute, but that will come around fast. February, MWA show. Uh, that will do us for tonight. Car's in here. As soon as I get here tomorrow, we'll probably do a little challenge, actually, see how long it takes us to get this engine out. Yeah, definitely. Are you home normal time tomorrow? What's tomorrow? Thursday. Uh, mm. Don't matter. I'll be well, here. Well, well, I'll be here any time after five, and this engine will... We'll time it and we'll see how, I'll be here. see how long it takes us to get it out. I've got the point. You'll be here. I'll be here. You'll be here. It's fine. Right, that's it. End of Wednesday. See you tomorrow. It's Thursday. And just before I start the day or the evening out in the garage, I just want you guys to meet the Tebs Racing new team mascot. We've got Ronnie, 
the British Bulldog. And now we've got Eddie, he's eight weeks old, no, nine weeks old. He's a toy poodle. And he's now my mum's new baby. So I've been basically chucked out of the way. Being the youngest, I'm no longer the youngest. Eddie boy, hey yo. Well, he's not camera shy anyway. Right, now that's out of the way. Like we said yesterday, we're gonna time ourselves, see how quickly we can get this engine out. I've got all the tools here. Normally I keep running over to the bench to keep going and get them, any ones that I forgot. But I've got them all right next to me now to try and save on time. I've got the engine hoist here as well, try and save time. Uh, I haven't taken this engine out of here in a little while. So there is, there is a system that we found, but months and months pass and you don't end up taking the engine out, you seem to forget. But I'm sure I'll pick it up quick enough anyway. So time is 6.09. Dad's just turned up, he's just walked through the door. So he'll probably either go in and get changed and come straight out or he's gonna go asleep for an hour or two. So that'll make a big difference. 10 past six now, let's do this. This took us one hour and 10 minutes. So once the engine was out, Dad ended up getting the window net off. I whacked the shafts back in and the wheels back on, got it back down on all four wheels. And then we took the gear cables out that we put in recently. They would normally have a gear stick in there, but obviously we all change them for gear cables now. So we took them out, ready to put back on the Radom. And then we took the fuel tank and the fuel cover out as well, which was an absolute pain in the ass because it was all riveted down. I was going to say that, probably just put a wing on that right hand side, left hand side, passenger side. Yeah. I was going to say that. Right, five to nine. The car is it's ready to go, isn't it? Yeah. She's got to tie up them drive shafts, that's it. Yeah. Um, car's ready to go, the garage is an absolute tip at the minute now, but we're both too tired to bother cleaning up. So we'll do that tomorrow when we're both fresh. As soon as I get in here tomorrow, I'll just blitz it. Um, Dad's gonna get a couple of boxes as well tomorrow. So we can put all the bits in there, ready for when the car comes back, for the bits that are going back on the car. Um, what else I might was go it? to B and Q and get a couple of boxes and get some rope. Let's try to get some heavy, heavy duty ones. Yeah. Yeah, so Dad's gonna do that tomorrow. to tie up these drive shafts so they're not dangling around. Yeah. So, that's and us. We've got some ends we can put in there. Some ends? Yeah, just the end of it, like a shaft, it's broken off or something. 
Anyway. Anyway. That's it. Thursday done. Job complete. Car stripped and ready to go. It's only nine o'clock. Only? So we can do for the rest of the evening. I've got a 50 minute, 45 minute drive home. Yeah. And then I've got dinner waiting for me when I get home, hopefully. Hopefully, babe. Right, see you tomorrow. Friday, seven o'clock. Got to Dad's. Oh, sorry, just landed in my head. Got to Dad's and we had a Chinese and then me and Dad were just chatting away for a little while. So we've only just got out here. Dad's currently looking for a box to put all of the stuff that we've taken off of this Wadham into because he didn't get one at work and he didn't get no string to tie the drive shafts up with. Shut up. <laughs> so hopefully he's found one now. We're gonna do that. Obviously, I'm gonna quickly give the garage a tidy up as well. Once, once all of the Wadham bits are out, I'll give the garage a tidy up. And then we was looking at this engine when I was taking it out and when I took one of the oil pickup pipes out, or off even, the, it was a bit creamy in there and we have had this engine get hot on us a couple of times and we have been losing a little bit of water with it. So what we're going to do is we're going to whip the head off tonight. I've spoken to Harry at HMC Motorsport and he's going to get the head skimmed for us, just a face skim so we can put a new head gasket on it because most likely the head gasket is on its way out. It's not gone completely but it's on its way out so we're going to get that sorted before it gets worse. And then, once we've got that, got the head back, then it'll be ready to put into the Radom. Not sure how long that's gonna take us, but we'll see. I don't know what time I'm going to get it tomorrow. I'm going to have a little bit of a lay-in, I think. Well, tomorrow, she's doing the bedding, if you do... Yeah, get it ready, but she, I think Chelsea wants to. Because if, even if you don't stay... I think because she's here to, next... She might be here Sunday anyway, for something. Yeah. Plus, I need to be here Sunday anyway. Say so we swap and get a random over in that. Sunday yeah. morning. Yeah. It's done then, as I say, I want to... Be, even we get up a decent time, I can get away by one two, and then I've got the rest of the day to edit. Yeah, we just have a move around. Yeah, get, get it ready for Monday. Whatever time you go up, then if you have a half decent start, even if you go out there and paint it and then wheel it back in. Yeah. Just be careful when you're touching front bars, pushing it back in. I'll probably jump in it. Drive Yeah, whatever. Um, put this on charge tonight. Do it now. Right. That do us for tonight, Friday night. What are we doing? Done an hour and a half. It's better than nothing. But the main thing was to get that head off so I could get it to Harry tomorrow morning. And I got rid of all the scrap that's at Dad's again. So that's a win win. Tidied up the garage a bit, got all the stuff that's in here that we don't need to be in here that can go into the shed, basically. Got that all out of the way as well. So we've got a nice, not, it's not spotless obviously, but we get a nice clean slate for tomorrow when we swap these cars over. Dad's just charging the CRX now. Uh, I'll touch on this tomorrow as well, but problem with that is the, it's not starting. I think the start motor's gone. So we're gonna put it on charge tonight and then tomorrow we get that start motor changed because that needs to come off the trailer so we can get the courser on it. Ah, oh, it's all fun, fun, fun. 25 degrees. I am a weatherman now, by the way. So's dad, he can be my sidekick weatherman. 
Saturday, it's race day. Can't tell, I am buzzing. I got nine hours sleep last night. And that is, <laughs> that is proper good for me. So I'll take that. Uh, I'll probably leave in a little bit later than I should, but the thing with shale meetings, you never get practice. So we normally like to get there about two, two hours or maybe just over two hours before. Um, because then you get signed in, get your car off, get your car ready, and then you're getting ready for practice. Even with just two hours, getting there two hours early, you're almost getting ready for practice. So, trail, no practice. So there's no point getting there extra early, basically. So I'm just on the way to Jackson Harry's. Luckily, they're on the same farm. So I can drop the head off, drop the scrap off in the scrap pile at Jack's, and then I can shoot straight off to Dad's end. Chelsea's gonna meet me there. I'm hoping Dad's got the car out nice and early and put a bit of paint on it. He did paint it the other day, but he missed a couple of bits. So hopefully he's done that. And we've got the roof stickers to go on from Henry. I managed to get them as well. So the only thing that didn't turn up, which I was quite annoyed about, was the flashing lights. So when you're a superstar or a champion, you get to run flashing lights, amber flashing lights. And um, now I've got the silver roof on there and the St. George's Cross. I said to Dad, I want to put them on. He's gone against the idea, but I bought them anyway, and he's going to have to wire them up. So, but they didn't turn up. They got sent out Tuesday, so I don't know what's going on there. But anyway, obviously it's a night meeting, so you will be able to see them. But then also, you'd, if I was doing not so good today, then you'd just be able to see the flashing lights getting overlapped by a white top. Hopefully that's not the case today. Uh, we're trying something a little bit different. Also, what's nice is the fact that the car is ready and we haven't got to rush around on race day like we have done for the last couple of meetings. Because that, that is so much stress that it's so unnecessary. But because we're not hiring the car out for this meeting, or we haven't got to hire out anytime soon, then um, it doesn't put as much stress on us. So a lot of people have been asking me this, well, the last couple of weeks, a lot of people are interested in hiring the car. And um, yeah, they've been asking me, are you, are you hiring it, hiring it? And I've had to say no because the amount of damage we picked up the last couple of meetings in it is it wasn't didn't really make it worth it and for the extra stress that it put on me and dad it didn't really make it worth it and then obviously it took time off of me doing our cars so it has its purpose it paid for the racing for the last three meetings definitely it definitely had its purpose but the extra time you put in and the extra effort and the extra bit of stress is it worth it i don't know so i think from now on if this car's sat here waiting, ready to go, and it isn't being used by me in a couple of meetings, or, you know, and there's, there's, we've got, basically we're not putting ourselves under stress, then I will hire it out. But for the minute, I've had to say no to a few people. I've got one more person booked on to hire it later on in the year. If anyone does want to hire a car, Luke and Jack Smith, find them on Facebook, they are hiring cars. But I believe even they are fully booked. I spoke to Jack the other day and he reckons he's fully booked, but I think Luke's got one as well. So that is, that is good news for the formula. A lot of people wanting to come in and try, try it. It's, that is brilliant news for the formula. You can't, can't really argue with that. So hopefully in the next year or so, Speedworth's numbers pick right up. Everyone wanting to have a go. Hopefully that converts them over to buying a car and we can get 30, 30 40 cars at a domestic meeting. You never know, you never know. Just at Harry's now, whip that head out. Quickly chuck all that scrap out. Got the batteries, some alley in there, and then shoot off to Dad's. All done, bro. Right, so it's Saturday morning. Uh, I've got the car out. Need to do a few finishing touches. Uh, we've got to go around and touch in all the red paint and paint the wheel guard, rear bumper that I missed. And then these stickers have turned up that have got to go on the roof. So I'll be giving the roof a quick wash and dry that and then put these stickers on. So you can see how that's done. So, won the English Championship 
on the outside. Then the national points champion in motor parts direct series champion. Right, I'm at Dad's now, but it's going to be a bit of a rush. I've got here a lot later than I expected. Really, we need to be leaving in 45 minutes, and this Spitfire's got to come off the car. Got to come off the car, it's got to come off the trailer. Uh, the Wadham's got to get out of here, and the Spitfire's got to go in the garage. And then the trailer will then be free to then load the courser up. Plus, we've got to fill the van up with the list that we got. Ah, so, I'm just going to crack on. It weren't going to be stressful because there's no practice but we still ended up leaving later than i wanted to but we're 16 minutes away now so we get there about an hour before the meeting which is still all right but it's probably just not enough time to be able to chill out and relax but anyway we're on we're on our way Corsa, we haven't been racing we haven't been racing a month something like that four weeks uh, we haven't been racing in a month so it Chelsea just said then it feels weird going because obviously just before that we were racing pretty much every weekend but it was nice to have the break but we're back to it now on shale hopefully we get the results Let's see how we get on right sunday today's moving day just got back from mildon all last night stayed over at dad's because i was coming here anyway um this courser is get moved over to the farm so then we can make room to bring the radon back and get that in and start working on that before we take this car we just want to take the seat and the belts out of it because they're probably going to be used in the radon anyway and the transponder i don't think there's anything else transponder we'll take these out anyway don't we or we don't want them getting moldy over there no. yeah we get our seat and belts out and then we make the trip We're back, baby. You coming home? But will it start? Let's have a look. Ghosty, that don't often happen, does it, when it's been sat there for a while? How many months has this been sat? All the shop. Two me lot the two meetings, I don't know, two or three meetings ago, all the shop. Two or three meetings? Like the two or three previous all the shops. Did Lee use it last? Yeah. 
sweet. So that'd be back in like May. A long time ago, good few months. So we gotta get that courser off. And then whack this Adam on. Come on, baby. Right, the next one in. That's our Sunday. Told you it was a bit of transportation day. Getting this Radham back in here. Because this is going to go and win the British on Sunday. And hopefully add one more title to the roof. Talking of roofs, you're going to have to sign right this one as well, aren't you? The look of excitement. That's probably. There's no room for any more. There is. I don't know how we'd do it. This is speaking out loud, obviously. But it could happen. There's probably going to be 30 or 40 cars all going around a tight order shop on a Sunday afternoon, all gunning for this British title. And we'd be one of them. Try and give ourselves the best shot possible. And this car is probably our freshest car now. At the minute? Probably. Between this and the Corsa. But I know this, this thing flies on time, right? It's just a matter of getting it to its optimal, really. Optimal performance, which means doing an engine change. The list, I'm not even going to reel off the list because it will just get bigger and bigger, so we'll leave that there. Uh, also, there's a few repairs we need to do on the trailer as well. Yeah. Because that's probably just taking a back seat a little bit with all the cars that need repairing, but... There's no point repairing cars if the trailer doesn't make it to the track. This is broken. Yeah. Right, and that's the end of Teb's Weekly. Episode number 28, done yeah. and dusted. If you are enjoying these, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one.